Good morning, this is Steve KI5JUF. Uh, today I'm going to make a video on how to program a simplex frequency into a uh, FT3D and we'll also do a repeater frequency. So hopefully the audio will be good. I am, I've got the camera about three feet away from the radio so I can kind of go through the push buttons and everything. So hopefully you can hear me on this. Uh, it, it may not be a success, but we'll try it. So the first thing we'll do is go ahead and turn the radio on, of course. And what we want to do is, first we're going to do a simplex channel. So a little bit about simplex is, uh, normally there's not going to be a repeater shift, there's not going to be a repeater tone, um, or anything of that uh, nature going on with simplex. So one of the things we want to do first is we want to go ahead and uh, I've got the radio programmed for the upper B or upper display only to be showing and what I'm going to do is right now I'm in memory mode you see the M right there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the VM button which is VFO to memory and now we're in VFO mode so you see the VFO right there so what we'll do first is we're going to program a simplex channel what we will do is we will go ahead and tap the display and then we're going to enter the simplex frequency which is one four six five two zero now notice when I entered the zero the display went ahead and prompted to to move forward and, and, and clear the uh, the text field or the entry field which is normal so the next thing we want to do is we want to verify that all of the repeater shifts and everything are off because remember in VFO, uh, the VFO location will remember your last setting. So the one thing we want to do first is we want to verify that there is no repeater shift and there doesn't seem to be any here, but I'm going to show you how to check it anyway. So to check the repeater shift, press and hold the display then what you want to do is you want to tap config and then you want to go to number 15 using this little dial knob here repeater shift press display once and we're in simplex so we're correct but for example if it would have been in uh, a minus or plus we would have needed to turn this dial to get it back to simplex then what we'll do is we'll hit press back and the next thing we'll check is we'll make sure that the squelch type is turned off. So then what we do is we press back, we go to signaling, and then we look at number 11. Press display. And the squelch type, we want to turn this to off. Remember, simplex, there's no tone and there's no, uh, no shift or anything. So we want to make sure that's also turned off for simplex. Press the back button three times. Now we're back in the VFO mode. Now to store the frequency, what we'll want to do is we want to press and hold the FMW. Press and hold it. Now, you notice right here it's flashing 23. 23 is the next memory location. So what I'm going to do is if I turn it one direction, you see where it turned red? That means there's already an existing memory location programmed in 22. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it in 23 for the example. Now we press MWrite again. When I do that, it's going to save the channel into memory and it's also going to come up with the text screen. See the text screen? Now, a little tip about this text screen is it's a little, little bit weird figured out, at least it was for me. What we want to do next is right here this is important this little a if you see the a by itself it's the smaller font if you see the a b c it's the larger font so let me display we're going to go back to the smaller font so i'm going to enter t now i'm going to move to the right press space once now I'm going to go to the larger font. Oops, I've 
that stuff. Now when I have that, the last thing you do is to save the information on the tag and the frequency into memory, you press and hold the PTT button. Now you're done. So when I go back to VFO to V to memory mode, there's the channel we just entered, number 23, and it's test memory location 23 simplex. So now the next thing we do is to enter a repeater frequency. <clears throat> the first thing what I recommend doing is going into repeater offset and making sure your automatic repeater shift is set correctly. And what the automatic repeater shift does is, based on the frequency you enter, the software knows whether that's a negative shift or a positive shift. So let me display how to verify it on this radio. We press and hold display. And we go to config. And we go to number 14, which is automatic repeater shift. Press the display once. And the repeater shift is on. This is normally where I leave it because the software knows based on the repeater protocol whether it's a negative or positive shift. So we're good there. No need to make any changes. <clears throat> now what we'll do is we'll press the back three times to return back to the display. Then what we do is we want to go back into VFO mode. See we're in memory mode right now. When I press this again, now we're in VFO. So now I'm going to enter the uh, frequency repeater. So again, this is the advertised frequency. Uh, this will be the receive frequency for the repeater. Your radio's receive frequency for the repeater. So press and tap the display. Enter the frequency is 146.760. Now, check this out. It just assigned a negative shift. So that's perfect. That's what we want. And that's what this repeater is. The next thing we want to do is we want to press and hold the display. Then we want to select signaling. Then we want to go to squelch type, which is number, let's see here. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I said, I said signaling and tap config, so I wasn't paying attention, so that was an error, tap signaling. Now we want to go to number 11, which is squelch type, press display once. Now, this particular repeater is a tone only, not a tone squelch, but a tone only. No, excuse me, this is a tone squelch repeater. So I'm going to turn this to tone squelch. So that means that when my radio transmits, there's a carrier, carrier, audio carrier that's with my transmit signal. And when the repeater transmits back to me, there's also a sub-audible frequency in there. So that opens up the receive on my radio. So we're correct there. Press back. Then what we want to do is we want to go to number 12, which is the frequency. Press enter. Press display. Now the frequency for this repeater, the sub-audio frequency is 146.2. And that's where we're going to leave it. But if we wanted to change it, we could. So press uh, back. Two, three times. Now we have everything set correct. Now. The last thing we'll do is we'll verify the repeater shift, which is correct. It's number 9. But say, for example, if we wanted to look at it, if we wanted to see the repeater shift, we would press and hold the display. We would go to config. We would go to number 15. You could change it if you wanted to, but there's no need to. It is correct by turning the dial knob. Now, the other thing I'll show you is press back once, and let's go to number 16. Number 16 is the repeater shift frequency. Normally, by default, for VHF repeaters, it's 6 kilohertz. For UHF, it's 5 megahertz. So let's take a look, and it's at 6 kilohertz. So that's perfect. And we press back. Now, the last thing we want to do is to store the frequency to a memory location, we'll want to press and hold the F, M, W. Whoops. Now, 
Now it comes up and says M right. Now it's t telling us to put it in memory location 24, which is the next memory location. Previously we just placed it in memory 23. So I'm going to go ahead and press M right. Now we get our display again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the smaller font. Remember that's the large font. That's the small font. So I'm going to put in capital K. K C and we'll go to number five. Oops, I messed up. That's K Charlie. Press the arrow. Here we go to five. Back to the small font. Press the arrow again. O. L O and last thing we do is we press the PTD to save the changes. Now when we go back to memory read write, there's our memory her repeater. This is our frequency repeater or negative off or negative shift for memory location 24 with the tone scotch of tone squelch of 146.2. So that concludes uh, the quick video on how to program a simplex into the FT3D, how to program a repeater, how to look at repeater uh, frequency, tone squelch versus squelch, uh, tone, tone squelch, uh, DCS. So anyway, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, it helps me. I'm, as I do the videos, I actually write little work instructions in Word with pictures. So uh, what I like to do is I like to write everything in Word with pictures and then my goal is to be able to read the work instruction in a video and if everything flows properly then I kind of know the work instructions pretty close and uh, like I said if, you've, if you want any, any information just email me and I can send you the work instructions they're just my own little creations but I like to do them have a lot of pictures and videos and stuff and it helps me remember so anyway this is uh, KI5JUF Steve hope you enjoyed the video I'll do a couple more, uh, how to do APRS, which is another cool thing on this radio. I'll do that in another video. So, 73 and have a good day.